no plans, no plans at all Evil man's always transcending Fight her like sheep, swallow everything Always simple tins or pretending We got no plans This is your moment of clarity from LeeCamp.net We don't seem to be progressing anymore Humankind is stagnant, at least in the countries I've been to, which is about 80% fewer than any non-American and 700% more than any American. The average American thinks that crossing the state border makes them an international man of mystery, a fucking James Bond, because they drove from Wisconsin to Minnesota. But seriously, just go to a shopping mall this holiday season and tell me we're progressing. The things that 12-year-olds want for Christmas are the same things 35 and 40-year-olds want. Shoes, purses, video games, iPhones, movie tickets, revealing underwear. And even scarier is that sometimes it's the same fucking video games and movies. I would also say that sometimes it's the same books, but books? Who are we kidding? Let's not be quaint. The only books that sell nowadays are about zombies, but the irony being that the reason we don't buy books anymore is because we're behaving like zombies. How often do you see a zombie taking in a good read? So you go to the mall with the masses of children and the kids they've birthed, and you hop on the elevators and the escalators that push us along on our little ride through pleather purgatory down to the seventh circle of taco hell. After fighting your way through the obnoxiously loud, you get slammed through a noxious cloud of chemical fog called perfume that your body both revolts against and finds alluring simultaneously. It's the smell of love and death, pain and sex at the same time. If you spray it on your face on a, on a daily basis, you might pick up a hint of cancer, but that's a small price to pay to get nicely fucked by a girl or guy whose neural receptors also can't resist the subconscious pull. And besides, if you don't buy that perfume or cologne, think about the message that'll send to the bunny rabbit who worked hard testing those chemicals just to help get you fucked. If I were a marketing exec, I would create that campaign. Hey, think about how upset the chimpanzee will be if you don't buy this eyeshadow he spent his productive years testing just for you. He's, he's, he's blind now, all in his effort to get you done from behind by some hot douche you've had your eye on. Show some fucking gratitude and buy this bottle of shit. And the only sign of concern for the environment in this ridiculous materialistic game we play of simplistic desires is the eco bag. We have the option of buying for a dollar, so we can fill it with our piles of useless trinkets and environmentally disastrous electronics. All it does is paint over the vulgarity of our actions like Mount Rushmore, skillfully chiseled into stolen lands. No, it's okay that I bought three cell phones in case I misplaced the first two and seven pairs of single-use earphones. It's okay because I bought the eco bag. It's green. It's, it's green. It's green. You know what green stands for? Environment. Plus the sign said that for every, for every bag we buy, a Verizon employee will sing a song to a squirrel. That's right, that bag covers our crimes with guilt-free eco-ality. Kind of like putting a dead hooker in a biodegradable hemp garbage bag. The good outweighs the bad. That's your moment of clarity from LeeCamp.net. I'll be doing uh, one show in New Orleans this coming December 7th. Get tickets at LeeCamp.net slash schedule. And even if you don't live there, tell your friends who live in Nolens to come see me. I'd love to come to your town as well. If you run a theater or a comedy club, email me at LeeCampMail, M-A-I-L, at gmail.com. Plans at all. Evil man's always transcending. Fight her like sheep, swallow everything. Always simple tins or pretending.